I haven't been here in uh, quite a while. It's been, I think, over a decade. So it's uh, certainly bringing back a lot of memories. Uh, this is where I, I started my career. And I taught 10th grade English actually at a portable right over there. Uh, I'd have a lot of kids in my class. It'd be like 40 kids uh, in some of my classes. Uh, but it was a good opportunity to have the chance to uh, you know, interact with a lot of students and try to make a difference uh, in their lives on a daily basis. Well, parents want their schools to be open. I mean, that is pretty basic. Full time, five days a week, no excuses. And by the way, no masks required. I'm hearing from parents a level of frustration that is without parallel, I think, uh, in uh, my entire experience in the world of politics because our state government has failed them in the most basic and fundamental and personal of ways and for the very worst of reasons. We had kids who have been stuck home here longer than any state in the country, not because that was somehow safer. Gavin Newsom knew that wasn't the safe thing to do. He sent his own kids to in-person private school, but rather because it was an opportunity that the biggest special interest in California seized, the special interest group that spends the most money uh, of all of them by a mile, that spends more money uh, funding this governor than any other group. They saw a school shutdown that lasted as long as possible as being in their interest, irrespective of whatever public health experts or the scientific community or child welfare advocates had to say. Parents should have different options because kids are different and there are different fits for different kinds of students. In California, uh, the, uh, the agenda of our biggest special interest and the political class that it controls has been to keep kids trapped in failing schools. That is their business model. That's why before COVID-19, we ranked 49th out of 50 in terms of how well kids did in neighborhoods like this compared to other states. And it's why during COVID-19, we've been 50th out of 50 in getting kids back to the classroom. Because when it comes to education politics in California, it's not about the kids. It's never about the kids. That we have a state government that is broken, that what is broken it is political corruption. We have an opportunity right now as a state, people of all backgrounds, all party affiliations, to turn things around. Oh God, I was, uh, I was kind of a nerd. I played soccer for a bit, uh, wrote for the school newspaper, uh, was part of the debating club. I was 15 years old, had just been cut from my own high school basketball team, and we ultimately actually came here to LA because the NBA championship was in LA that year. It was the Lakers and the, the Pacers. Uh, and we competed in the national championship for the shooting competition uh, during the NBA finals. It was filmed on Nickelodeon and we won. We beat the representative of the Eastern Conference that was with the, the New Jersey Nets. I still have the jersey they gave me with the Sacramento Kings with my name on the back. I actually gave it to my nephew, but uh, you know, one of my most uh, cherished possessions. Uh, I also started a debate club here. We uh, took kids all around the state uh, and uh, you know, traveled around the state, competed at different tournaments, uh, places like Berkeley. A lot of them have gone on to great colleges. And so uh, I had a, a really great experience here. Um, I also saw you know, uh, kind of our public education system, uh, a side of it that I think uh, you know, we need to be a lot more concerned about uh, at the state capitol, which is that we're just failing a lot of kids in this state. I mean, I taught 10th grade English and the average reading level of my students was fifth grade, and this was a while ago, but things have not improved since then. So that was one of the main reasons I ran for the legislature, is to expand educational opportunity, to close achievement gaps, to achieve real educational equity.